certainly been a bigger part of the, the rhetoric, I guess, for the president. Uh, either way, we are down uh, about 3%, uh, not far from the session lows, down 850 points. Uh, and uh, clearly today, another massive mover has been the bond market. Rick Santelli's got to check in on bonds for us. Yes, yeah, so and we are seeing a little bit of a comeback, but I mean little in terms of yield. Here we sit at 121 in a two-year note yield. That's down three basis points on the day. The worst or best, depending on your position, performers, five-year note yields down about six on the day. So anything against fives actually is steepening, fives, tens, five thirties. There's a 10-year, and I've picked four days because everything is on its fourth day down, including stocks. You see the 10-year there, 135 plus. If we close below that, it'll be a new low all-time yield close. We're not uh, looking like it's going to bounce and take that out. Dollar index over the last four days lost about three-eighths of a cent, but it's only about three-eighths of a cent below a very important September high. And Bertha, four days down for the NASDAQ, but that's over 850 points. Yeah, the NASDAQ got ready to close below 9,000 for the first time this year as it erases all of the gains thanks to Apple's big loss. Apple now in correction down 12% from its high back on January 29th. And the chip sector is right there with it, off about 11%. Take a look at AMD down 19% from its February 19th all-time high just last week, Bob. It's been a swift pullback. Yeah, amazing. Uh, S&P down about 8% from its recent historic highs, but some other big cap names have dropped into correction territory. Been talking about this all day. Visa on the heels of MasterCard's warning down uh, today, but we're down about 12% oh, from its recent highs, so there's a one in correction territory. Many of the industrials also down more than 10%. United Technology, another good example here, 11% off of its recent highs. Some of the healthcare stocks also entering correction for political purposes. There's the closing bell. We did rally modestly off of the lows, but not much. We're down 1,900 points essentially in the last two days on the Dow, closing just off the low. S&P down 96 points. If you're just joining us, so welcome to the closing bell. I'm Wilfred Frost. And I'm Sarah Eisen, along with Mike Santoli, CNBC Senior Markets Commentator. Let's check in on the markets. The Dow closing down a massive 877 points following yesterday's more than 1,000-point decline. The low of the session today for the Dow came about 30 minutes ago. It was 955, clearly uh, down 880 points or so. We weren't far off those lows. Uh, it is the fourth day of declines in a row. We are now down about 7.5% from all-time highs. And the worst back-to-back -back loss for the market since February.